Hey, if you own a farm and you have a lot of chickens, you probably get a lot of eggs. There's commercial egg washers that cost thousands. And then there's some pneumatic ones inside buckets that cost a couple hundred dollars. I figured I could do this myself. I went to Lowe's, I just got back and I'm gonna go to the garage and show you what I'm gonna put together to create one for about $30. Here we are in the garage. I got the Lowe's bucket. So basically I'm gonna put the eggs in here with some water and then at the bottom will be some aeration material to agitate the water to wash the eggs. So we'll put some egg wash in there, some water Water, and then we can just agitate the water with a pneumatic air compressor. I got a um, three quarter inch PVC pipe. I was looking for a five footer. I got a 10 footer. So I'm going to cut this down next. And then I've got all of these pieces. I'll kind of talk you through each piece and lay it out for you here. All right. My material list for this was four angle pieces. So I'll have three down inside the bucket and one kind of at the top that just makes an angle. I've got a three quarter inch PVC ball valve and that's just going to regulate the pressure. I've got two T's, so you'll have two of these three quarter inch PVC T's. You can see them there. Um, I've got a stand up like angle here. So what that's gonna do is sit here and the pipe will come up out of the bucket. Then I've got one threaded, so it's threaded on this side, three quarter inch threaded piece. And this is just a pressure piece, just open piece. I've got three quarter to one quarter inch thread here. So you can see right there, made in China, three quarter inch, one quarter. So what that's gonna do is just gonna screw in here. And then I've got this piece. This piece will screw into this one quarter and that will hook up to the air compressor hose. So that'll hook up there. I'll have a PVC pipe piece that'll connect these two. That ball valve will adjust the pressure so it just doesn't blow the water out like crazy. And then it'll go down a pipe there and all of this will be set up in the bottom of the bucket. You can see what it looks like here. I've got this set up. I'll have some PVC pieces that attach each one of these. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my measuring tape and just measure it to see what length of PVC pieces that I need to create this. Right here, I've got my dry setup. I cut these at four and a half inches and I cut these at two inches. So now I'm gonna connect them all and I'll set it up in the bucket and make sure it all fits before I glue it. Quick tip. Set it up like this before you attach it. If you attach it kind of individually, it'll be tough. You won't be able to get, if you attach this one, then this one, you won't be able to get some of these on. So attach it like this, then just uh, push it in these uh, three T pieces. Here it is, loosely fit. So I've got two inch pieces here, four and a half inch pieces here, and I'm gonna see if it fits in the bucket. So once I tighten it up, you can see it really fits perfectly in there, nice and snug. So I just pushed it down and tightened each each piece in. So I'm going to make sure that it tightens up. I don't have to trim any pieces off and then get the uh, rest of it set up. So what I'm going to do, I cut two extra pieces. So we're going to have, we got a ball valve here. And so I'm going to set that up and I'm going to set this up right here and uh, get all this connected. And then I'm going to have another piece on the other end of this ball valve. Take this down so you can see that. And then I'll have my stick probably five, six foot stick coming down that goes into the bucket. All right, I got this all set up now so you can see what it's gonna look like. I've got my my whole setup here. That's uh, the input for the compressor. I got the ball valve there for the pressure. And then all I've got to do, I'm gonna use a quarter inch drill bit and I'm gonna drill holes in here. All right, so it'll be tough to get a shot of this, but I got a one quarter inch drill bit here and I'm just gonna drill my holes just like that. And I'm gonna get that going all the way across and then we'll get some pressure on it. All right, I'm all finished drilling it out. I put three holes in each long piece. I put a single hole in each shorter piece and then one hole in each elbow and teeth. All right, I got warm water in here, getting ready to wash these eggs. So I'd recommend you wash your eggs with warm water and that way you keep everybody safe. And I've got my air compressor set up. I've got it on 40 PSI. I'm gonna hook this up. I get the ball valve open. Let's see if it works. So basically, you're gonna hook this up and it'll get rolling this way. So like a little, little hot tub for the chicken eggs. So I've got a bucket of chicken eggs here. You can see they're pretty dirty. And so what you need is you need a basket that'll fit in this bucket. I'm gonna try this. This is what we collect our eggs in right now. I might need a better basket. We'll see if it fits but I'm just gonna set it in there just like that. Oh, they're falling out of the basket. It might be a problem, we'll see. But we'll get them in there, let them agitate for a while, see what happens. Hopefully this works. It's gonna save a lot of time and a lot of money. All right, I just turned this off. I only ran it for about three or four minutes. So I'm gonna pull this bucket out and we'll take a look 
at the eggs. I'd say a couple things that I would do differently. I'm gonna get a metal basket for these that hold the eggs more firmly. I had, it looks like I had one egg that broke there that fell out of the basket and got smashed on the bottom. Um, and I'll probably run it with a little bit of washing fluid in there, like a egg wash fluid. And then also I'll do it for about 10 minutes instead of five. And I think they'll be ready to come out, not even have to dry them off by hand, just let them sit and we'll be in good shape. This is going to save a massive amount of time. All in all, this took me about 25 minutes to put together. So I hope it helps.